Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, it, it's not a very new topic, of course. Uh, uh, we have been doing this conversation on uh, industry academia partnership for quite a while. But I guess uh, the, the job is not done yet. A uh, lot of uh, unfinished agenda and a lot of implementation left. I am from the academia, so uh, maybe there are biases uh, in my comments. But, but as such, uh, uh, there are, has been few uh, uh, models uh, that a lot of people talk about. Uh, how do you, you know, what's the framework of a good partnership, good engagement? How do you do an effective con conversation between these two ends? So the triple helix model is, is oft quoted uh, among government, academia, and industry. Uh, all those models are fine. Um, on paper, they look beautiful. But when it comes to implementation, it becomes very, very challenging. And uh, sometimes uh, the theoretically defined model, it doesn't work uh, as well in certain situations. So you have to sort of figure out uh, solutions uh, which is uh, best fitted for a particular uh, type of partnership and engagement. Um, you know, there are some unique examples, uh, but uh, there are some good news also. Uh, globally speaking, I, I read that uh, uh, Nature Index and, and Scopus reports that in recent years, maybe last six, seven, eight years, uh, there has been a steady growth in number of uh, quality leading publications in, in top end journals co-authored by uh, academic, uh, academics and, and industry uh, researchers. So in, in, um, my comments are mostly in research. And of course, I uh, hope all of you uh, join and more will be joining uh, for the session following this uh, on the research partnership between industry and academia. Um, I have been uh, fortunate to be part of a couple of narratives uh, where this sort of partnership is, is kind of interestingly um, you know, intertwined. Uh, the first one is in education. Uh, uh, my recent past uh, um, connect with uh, Bitspilani. Um, Bitspilani has a very, very interesting work integrated learning program, WILP, where the in university goes to the industry to educate industry professionals. It's a very uh, effective, almost uh, uni unique in this country at scale. 37, 38,000 industry professionals are studying degree programs, not certificates or, or you know short term programs. So spreading over two, three, four, five years. And uh, without leaving their job, that's the unique uh, part of it, and it's not an online program. So um, that's one where it worked. It's uh, over 45 plus programs are offered. And second one, my current affiliation is with a company you may not know. It's a Section 8 company. It's a TCG Crest, TCG C R E S T, uh, the Chatterjee Group. Where uh, it's a flipped model of research where a company has started uh, doing research. Uh, it's a non-profit, as I said. Uh, at the other end, uh, it, it aspires to become a university, but it didn't start with the uh, education part at all. It started with the research. So industry investing in research uh, with postdoctoral fellows, large numbers, and, and PhD students only, and of course, uh, faculty members. Uh, so these are unique models that are uh, going to inspire us, uh, going to teach us and, and tell us, uh, you know, give us few options for us to go ahead in this country. But more on this in our session following this inauguration. Thank you so much.